Hi, I'm Brad Thompson, Executive Director of the Clemson Institute for the Study of Capitalism here at Clemson University. We were founded in 2005 with a startup grant from BB&T, and our mission in a sentence is to explore the moral foundations of capitalism. In fact, we are America's first and only university-based teaching and research center dedicated to exploring the moral foundations of capitalism. There are a lot of uh, institutes and centers around the uh, United States that examine capitalism, but they do so primarily from an economic point of view. What makes us unique and distinct is that we argue that capitalism must have a moral foundation. And so we dedicate all of our time and resources to laying out that moral foundation. Now, to achieve that end, we run a series of programs during the course of the year. We have a lecture series, probably the biggest lecture series on campus. For instance, last year we had George F. Will, the Pulitzer Prize winning uh, columnist from the Washington Post, come to Clemson. He spoke at Tillman Hall to an audience of 700 students, faculty members, administrators, and uh, citizens from the community. Uh, a couple of months ago, we had Professor Alan Charles Kors from the University of Pennsylvania who gave a talk on the decline and fall of liberty on America's college uh, campuses. We also uh, put on two conferences every year. One conference for uh, about 80 college students, top flight college students from around the United States who come to Clemson for a three-day conference on the moral foundations of capitalism. A few days after that, we put on a second conference for about 100 faculty members from universities and colleges around the United States on the same theme, the moral foundations of capitalism. Uh, the Clemson Institute staff also teaches 14 to 16 classes per year at Clemson University in the political science, history, and economics departments, and in the Great Books program, and in the Honors College at Clemson. But I, I think without question, the most important um, program that we're running at the Clemson Institute is what we call the Lyceum Scholars Program. And the Lyceum Scholars Program is a national scholarship program that we're running. We take in 10 freshmen per year and give them a scholarship of $2,500 uh, that is renewable over their four years for a $10,000 total. And in exchange for the scholarship, the students um, become a part of our academic program. And we use a great books approach to studying the history of liberty, capitalism, the American founding, and the principles of moral character. And they also have to take eight classes together as a cohort. So what we're trying to do is to create a new kind of intellectual community at Clemson that will distinguish us from every other college and university in the United States. The students will take classes such as Wisdom of the Ancients, a course in Ancient Greek and, Mo and Roman moral thought, a course on the political thought of the American founding, two courses in constitutional law, a course on the political theory of capitalism, and the capstone course called Wisdom of the Moderns, a course in modern moral thought from Shakespeare to Ayn Rand. But possibly the most unique and distinct and important part of our program is that we assign to each student what we call a Socratic tutor. And a Socratic tutor is one of the faculty members associated with the program who will meet with the students individually once every two weeks for about an hour. And the, the goal of the Socratic tutor is to help the students translate theory into practice. So to, I'll give you an example. Take the Wisdom of the Ancients class where the students read Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics, a very challenging book. And the question is, how, do you, how does an 18-year-old American translate a difficult book like the Nicomachean Ethics into their lives in the 21st century? But more particularly, the role of Socratic tutor is to help these students take seriously, maybe for the first time in their lives, the idea of moral character and their individual moral character in particular. Because we believe that there is an intimate relationship between moral character and a free society. We believe the Lyceum Scholars Program is the most innovative and important academic program 
of the last 50 years at any university in the United States. Our goal is to change lives. Our goal is to have an impact on the future. Our goal is to prepare a new generation of students who are going to be the leaders in 21st century America.